Okay folks, this is a video on how to make nice, straight, long cuts on thin sheet metal using your angle grinder. I'm just doing a quick test cut to see how far uh, out the cut is going to be made. Uh, I'm using just a level to form the edge uh, that my grinder will ride along. And it seems to work reasonably well to start with, but then as you go along, it turns out that the foot of the angle grinder rest is kind of getting caught under the level. The whole thing is not tracking that well. So I added some weights to push the uh, support down uh, closer to the table. I think the problem is with my table actually. My table has a little bit of a bow in the middle. So the level itself is pretty straight but the table dips and so the foot of the angle grinder rest gets caught in there. There's not a lot more to say at this stage. It's cutting fine. Uh, it's tracking along reasonably well now with the weights holding things down. And you'll see that the grinder seems to catch periodically. I think that's happening because the disc is getting lower in some parts than in others. The sheet metal is not perfectly flat because you know the edge is falling over the side of the table. Most of the sheet metal is not supported by the table because I did not actually want to grind a slot to my table either. Now so far I've been making these cuts uh, with a pretty shallow depth and uh, this screw that's on the side of the uh, angle grinder attachment allows me to lower the blade a little bit more and so that's allowing me to cut deeper into the sheet metal. I'm still trying to be fairly careful with how deeply I'm cutting. But after the trouble I was having with the angle grinder uh, alignment I decided to make a lip on the back of the base as well and now there's a lip in the front and the back and this together is helping to keep the whole thing aligned with the rip fence so much better. And now we're starting to cut through the sheet altogether. The grinder was following the track very nicely. Looking at it from the other side, completing the cut, and once again it's following the track quite nicely. And now I'm going to be cutting some heavier gauge steel. This is 16 gauge mild steel, about one and a half millimeters. And the plate that I'm starting with is once again about two feet by four feet. Interestingly enough, the heavier gauge steel is a little bit easier to cut because it just stays put a little bit better. It doesn't flap about or wander around as much as the lighter gauge steel. So just making another cut and going a little bit deeper yet and the blade is actually through the entire thickness of the steel and you can see the cut edge right there. Now this arrow points to where I had drilled a hole where the two lines that I wanted to cut out meet. It's a 1 8 inch hole which is just over 3 millimeters. And the idea behind that was that it would allow for me to cut right up to the hole and no further. But it didn't quite work out like that, so I ended up going over a little bit. It's still fine. It worked out well enough. And now we'll see the end result of all the cutting and grinding. Yeah. Now to allow for adjustment of depth of cut, this will allow the disc to go a little bit deeper. And it's pretty much cutting through. There's very little material left over now. And some twisting of the sheet back and forth. And 
that should allow the cut part to come off completely. It's a pretty straight cut and that's it. Thank you very much for watching.